Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to look at rates and unit price. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready? Yeah. Let's get started right there. A car travels 200 miles in four hours. What is the rate of the car in miles per hour? So notice we are being asked for a rate in miles per hour, which means miles have to go in the numerator, hours have to go in the denominator. So we write 200 over 4, because that represents miles over hour. 200 over 4, to reduce that fraction, we divide out the common factor of 4, and that gives us 50 over 1. 50 divided by 1 is 50, though, so our answer is 50 miles per hour. That's the car's rate. That means 50 miles per 1 hour. We often say this as 50 MPH. Here's another problem. A car travels 200 miles on 8 gallons of gas. What is the fuel consumption rate of this car in miles per gallon? So here, we are being asked for miles over gallons. Let's write, first write our numeric values, 200 over 8, because that represents miles over gallon. The fraction 200 over 8 have a common factor of 8. If we divide that out, we get 25 over 1, and this is miles per gallon. 25 divided by 1 is 25, and so our answer is 25 miles per gallon, or 25 mpg. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. A truck travels 375 miles in 8 hours. What is the rate of the truck in miles per hour to the nearest hundredth? So notice, we have to round our final answer. So get your calculator ready, Charlie. <laughs> The rate we are asked for is miles over hours. So we put 375 miles over 8 hours. Now let's perform the division problem, Charlie. What's 375 divided by 8? 468.875. Very nice there, Charlie, and that's miles over hour. So 46.875. But don't forget, we were asked to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. The 7 is in the hundredth place. We look to the next digit to the right to check to see if it's 5 or greater. It's a 5. Therefore, we have to add a 1 to the 7, which is in the hundredths place. So that 7 becomes an 8, and then our number terminates right there. And so our final answer is 46.88 miles per hour. Now let's do a unit cost problem. A 20-ounce cup of coffee costs $1.75. What is the unit price in cents per ounce for this cup of coffee to the nearest cent? So we have to round to the nearest whole cent. But notice, we are given a dollar amount, a dollar seventy-five. We have to convert that to cents. So how many pennies, Charlie, are in a dollar seventy-five? One hundred seventy-five. Okay. So notice we put one hundred seventy-five over twenty, and that represents cents per ounce. This is the unit cost. Now get your calculator out, Charlie, and do 175 divided by 20, and what do you get? 8.75. Very nice there. So it's 8.75 cents per ounce. Well, obviously, we can't have 8.75 cents. We have to round off to the nearest cent. Well, you can probably figure out that it's going to be 9, but let's do the rounding. The 8 is in the ones place, and that's the place value we are trying to round to. If we look to the next digit to the right, it's a 7. That's greater than 5, so we have to add 1 to that 1's place. That makes it 9, and our number terminates there. So our final answer, rounded to the nearest cent, is 9 cents per ounce. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. If a bottle contains 50 vitamin tablets, let me read this again. If a bottle containing 50 vitamin tablets costs $24.50, what is the cost per vitamin tablet in cents per tablet? Again, we are given a dollar amount and we're asked for a unit cost in cents per ounce, so we have to convert. This time we'll convert it at the end. Let's start with $24.50 per 50 tablets. Let's perform the division. Charlie, what's 24.50 divided by 50? 0.49. That's right, 0 0.49. Now the units are dollars per tablet. Now think about this, Charlie. If you have 0.49 dollars, how many cents is that? 
49. Very nice there. So the unit cost in cents per ounce is 49 cents per tablet. It's not ounce, it's tablets. 49 cents per tablet, that's our final answer there. Let's do another one. If a jar containing 32 ounces of strawberry jam costs $5.44, what is the cost per ounce in cents per ounce again? Let's first convert the $5.44 to cents. Charlie, how many pennies are in $5.44? 544. That's right, 544. So let's begin this problem by writing 544 cents over 32 ounces. Now, Charlie, what's 544 divided by 32? 17. That's right, 17. So our final answer is 17 cents per ounce. That's enough for now. Hope to see you again soon.